What is up, Heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero Wars Central, and uh, today's Tuesday. It's a beautiful day. A little warm. Forgot to get more water. That's a shame. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun today, I think. Uh, yesterday, I apologized for the for the starting early and ending late. Um, ended up spending the next you know four hours or so at the pool. Had some smoked meat. Brisket had been smoking since 6.30 a.m. We ate it about 3, I think. 3 or 4. It was glorious. Had some grilled corn. Grilled peaches. Had some grilled asparagus with it. Oh, it was so good. You gotta, you gotta appreciate the little things. You gotta enjoy life. Right? 
somebody said like Shakespeare or George Washington or my mom, somebody said you got to enjoy the journey, right? Not necessarily about the end. <laughs> got to enjoy life. Got to enjoy life. Let's say hi to the YouTube Guild members. I see a penguin there in the live stream. D Warman here, running the show. Glim Alvaso is here. Limbicago is here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Scott K, good to see you, my friend. Scott K. Jeffrey Not Par, I love the brisket. I'm not a huge fan of brisket, I'll be honest. I prefer like pulled pork, but uh, uh, my favorite is a barbecue pull, uh, pulled pork sandwich. Something about something about the sandwich. I just love the sandwich. I don't know if it's the bread. I don't know. Uh, a Wagyu biscuit? I, I've never tried a Wagyu biscuit, Stephen Jones. That sounds amazing. Sounds really good. Uh, Rod's to reels. Uh, sorry, this was not uh, this was not a public pool party. All right, the other white meat. <laughs> more food talk. Yeah, no more food talk. No more food talk. I'm actually pretty full. I had a couple of uh, 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 protein wraps before the live stream, so I'm all set. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. How's everybody doing today? How's everybody doing today? It's good. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Uh, hope everybody is finding themselves accomplished on this Monday. Since yesterday, most of you had the day off. But uh, got to get back to it. Got to get back to it. We're going to start today with a discussion of the captains over on Hero Wars Mobile. Okay, so yesterday we talked a little bit about Territory Conquest. Okay, and today we got some work in progress art for the captains. All right, so I want to talk about the captains a little bit because I've already gotten a ton of questions about the captains. First of all, this is a concept drawing. Okay, this is not the final look of the captains. Remember, there's going to be 10 ships at launch of the Territory uh, the Territory Conquest activity on Hero Wars Mobile. These captains are tied to the various ships, okay? So there's not 10 ships and 10 captains. A captain and a ship is always together, okay? So the this tiger right here is tied to the ship, and it's not a separate thing that you have to collect and level up, okay? This is just part of the story and the lore and the, uh, the attitude of that ship, that flying ship, okay? That's the story. That's everything having to do with that ship, okay? It's not a separate thing to... It's not a separate unit to summon and level up. Uh, there is some leveling of the captain within the boat, within the concept of the boat unit, right? The flying ship unit. But it is not a separate thing that you have to rank up to six stars and get you know, different things for. Uh, there was some confusion initially about that. You know, why are we having heroes and captains and boats and titans? Why are we having all of this in one game mode? But that's okay. Uh, another thing that keeps getting brought up is the, the cartoony nature of the look of this art. I'm going to say this again. This is a work in progress art. Uh, I, from my understanding, this is either going to be leaning into a new art direction that they're just trying to get feedback on, or... They're going to, uh, you know, eventually tone this down into the the look of the sprites that we see uh, on Hero Wars, right? The various, the, the look of the heroes on Hero Wars, okay? So <clears throat> these are just some initial designs, some initial works in progress. And they were looking for feedback on these captains. I think that a lot of people are going to gravitate to a, a couple of them. I really like, you know, this one right here. I like this uh, this one right here. This one reminds me of uh, Rescue Rangers, like Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. You guys remember that show? That cartoon, you know, from the 80s, from the 90s? Yeah. I see somebody mentioned that this one kind of looks like Leon a little bit. The fourth could be Helios. Could be. Could be. Looks kind of like Helios, yeah. A little bit. This character reminds me of something. I can't put my finger on what this one to the far right. It reminds me of something. I don't know if it's a TV show or a cartoon. I, I cannot I cannot think of what I, I can't put my finger on exactly what it what it is reminding me of, but it is reminding me of something. Right. Uh 
Liano. Thundercats? Thundercats. Liano. Liano. Uh, okay. Th is it Thundercats? I could see that. I could see that. The Thundercats. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm... Again, we, we can't we can't really levy much feedback yet on the Territory Conquest system, really until we get uh, more information. But I did want to give you a little bit of an update before we kind of transition into another topic. I did want to give you an update on the conversation so far. They have, they have heard a lot of the feedback, and there's a lot of negative feedback having to do with this new game mode. They've heard the feedback, the internal testing that's been done so far, not with us like we haven't done any of the testing with the uh, with the game mode yet it's still very very early in production and they are they they've prepared a list of pieces of feedback that, that are they're taking back to the developers and uh, they're gonna you know implement some of it or not right so those of you that submitted feedback over on the unofficial hero wars mobile discord and on my youtube video yesterday and this morning and uh, we'll continue to submit uh, uh feedback the help is greatly appreciated and know that, you know, things could always change in the future. Now, I will say that I did have a confirmation of sorts. Uh, Finkel, so why are they all animals? The game is demons and robots. What's that? So that is something that was brought up. Why there, there should be more variety in the style of the uh, of the captains. Space and robots and demons. 100% agree. 100% agree on that. So something uh, uh, something that was brought up. Uh, a realization that I made today after chatting with the community manager is that this this game mode and and this is not going to be any surprise to any of you but this this new game mode territory conquest is not meant to be accessible by newer players okay now when the territory conquest becomes available to you it's obviously after level 30 because you have to be level 30 to join a guild and you obviously have to uh, unlock the activity via a specific team level. Because, you know, as we know, the different parts of Hero Wars are unlocked as uh, as you play the game. You know, the arena is unlocked at level 10. The tower is unlocked at level 15. The uh, the, the highwayman, I think, is unlocked at, at level 12, team level 12. And I think the Outland camp is, is uh, 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 unlocked at level 18, I think. And so on and so on and so on. So it's not really aimed at new players. And the intention is a, is a high level uh, kind of thing. You know, it's supposed to be like a high level player versus player option. Okay. Now, like I said, it's probably no surprise to anybody that this is going to be aimed at a higher tier of player. It just, it just struck me as odd that they're not designing content for new player retention which is what i initially thought that this was for i don't know why i thought that now thinking back after having a day or two to think about it but uh um, my big concern is always going to be player retention more than anything you know player retention people playing the game longer because they enjoy the game uh, and not playing the game less because it's not what they thought it was or because it's just too much uh which is quickly what it's kind of looking like or because it's too expensive, or all those other things. I'm I'm all for people having you know fun, enjoying the game, and sticking around, right? Yeah. Kind of figured there would be a whole new game mode that doesn't link to anything else. However, you can't complain about Hero and Titan changes and not get something like this. New always happens. That is a great point, D. Warman. Like they're always going to add new content. They're always going to add something new, and it's always going to be you know a way to gain. Revenue. It's always going to be a way to get money as a business first. After all, we're just lucky enough to be available to play, you know, to play along. So, uh, does anybody have any residual questions about Territory Conquest that I could, you know, maybe take back, uh, or that hasn't been answered yet, or or maybe that uh, uh, you're curious about, or anything like that? Before we kind of move on, Timison says too much daily activity. It begins to be much like a work rather than a fun to waste time with. Yeah. So yesterday I, I kind of mentioned that, you know, it may, it may end up being a replacement of sorts for, for global championships. But until we see what the rewards are at this point, I think that, I think that global championships may end up being better because it's segmented per day. You know, instead it's one day, it's a one day thing. I was thinking of global con, uh, global, global championship 
as a week long affair when it's technically a day to day to day affair. You know, it's a it's a it's a game mode that's structured into the uh, single day. And a lot of people, I think, are just going to skip this new game mode. Loving the assignments in, in Global Championships. There is a yeah, there's a bug. There's a weird bug with uh, with assignments that some people are getting, but it's a it's a small and you know innocuous bug. So maybe along Guilds and Duke League only, so the new mode will be more actively played. In Duke League only. Hmm. Maybe. Somehow the Facebook version with its pets and Ascension managed to be a lot less time consuming. That's because the Ascension system is is built so that you can technically, you know, log in two days, you know, Thursday and Sunday and spend a half an hour and be completely done with it, right? Because whenever you go and you look at the, whenever you go and look, you, uh, look at the Ascension fights, this is actually a really good, a really good discussion point. Uh, the, the whole Ascension system, you know, you can wait until Thursday night to do all of your minion attacks. And then you can wait until Sunday night to do all of your, you know, your boss fights. And, you know, taking a look at at this right here, like, look look what I'm doing. I, I clicked a couple of buttons, and then I click auto and speed up, and then I look, and, I, you know, I'm talking to you guys. And this is going to take, you, you know, uh, 20 seconds to complete that fight. And then, you know, I'm going to do it again and another, you know, another 40 to uh, to 60 seconds to complete these two fights. And I'm done with the Ascension system for the day. Now, I can, you know, I can go deeper into it if I wanted to spend a little bit of uh, money or emeralds to to roll the dice to get more materials. But for a, a, a bolt-on skill addition and a bolt-on stat addition for these heroes, which is something that a lot of people complain about. People, you know, oh, this is just, you know, this is just a one more thing that you have to level up for the heroes. It, absolutely true. It doesn't take that much time at all. And whenever you look at the the pet system, you you do an adventure, and it doesn't take it doesn't take that long to do an adventure. Now there are some adventures, like Adventure Ten, for example, that's that's very tedious, but it's not very time consuming, right? And this is a guild structured activity, right? Now there's a lot of money invested and time invested into these two systems to to complete them right but you're absolutely right pinklezo you're absolutely right yeah and you can skip the fight you're 100 true that you can just skip the fight it's a lot less time intensive than this you know settlers of a Catan based game and i would argue that as a whole facebook has considerably fewer bugs considerably fewer problems with the game. Hmm. Uh, boats aside, would you sum up TC as a three guild war? Yes. Three guilds versus three guilds. But you can attack as many times as you want. <laughs> And uh, it lasts for three days instead of one day. Ugh. Well, now I have to see what this guy says. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Oh, de but he says, "Goodness." <laughs> Dehydrated water activity points. That's funny. That's funny. Okay. 
Okay. So uh, something that happened a couple of days ago, we haven't had an opportunity to really dig into this too much just yet. Kind of scrolling down a little bit. Here we go. So the new devil skins are coming to Hero Wars Mobile. Okay, magic defense for Kira, magic defense for Maya, and armor for Peppy. <clears throat> now of these three skins, None of them, absolutely none of them, increase the effectiveness of the hero. Okay. Armor doesn't make Peppy a better damage dealer, right? Magic Defense doesn't make Kira a better damage dealer. Magic Defense doesn't make Maya a better healer slash damage dealer, right? Not like a physical attack skin or a magic attack skin or a penetration skin would. And there are obviously breakpoints that we have to deal with whenever we look into a hero like Kira, for example, that's getting magic defense. Now, from what I understand, and from what I've talked to, uh, the various uh, you know circles that I'm you know uh, that I'm a part of, when it comes to these skins, I think the one that's going to end up being the most impactful is actually going to be the Peppy Armor skin. Okay. Now, Kira did struggle quite a bit against certain mage lineups, but this Magic Defense skin is not going to be enough to keep her alive against Helios, to keep her alive against. Uh, you know, a lot of the twins lineups to versus some of the, you know, the mystics and the chaos lineups. It's good, but it's not going to be really enough. All right? It's not really going to be enough. Magic defense doesn't really help against an ODH team. Doesn't really help against any twins team. Doesn't really help because you have these mages that have high magic penetration artifacts and high magic penetration stats, right? Uh, with the Peppy armor, at least, Peppy is often the rearmost hero, okay? The, the most far, far, far back hero. You have a lot of lineups that are using Jorgen and other similar uh, heroes that attack the, the rear line. Uh, Zhu and, um, you know, you have Astaroth that, that uh, saps the energy of that back line, so it makes them a little bit less effective. Of course, armor doesn't really help against Astaroth. The skins are definitely cool looking. I love the color contrast of everything across the board, but to me, none of these are a must-buy uh, and the most interesting one for me is this armor skin for Peppy. Okay, now your mileage may vary. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not what you would call a Kira hater, but I certainly don't like Kira as much as I like uh, Daredevil lineup. The, the, you know, the D3 or the E3D or ED3, whatever it's called, lineup. I like Dante a lot more as a physical attacker. Of course, I like Kark a lot more as a physical attacker. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of Fafnir Artemis interest. The Ginger Isaac is of, uh, is of a lot of interest to me also. Curious is still a, a force, right? Kira is definitely still a big time hitter. And, you know, obviously I haven't spent a lot of time leveling up Maya anywhere. So I can't really speak to the Maya situation too much. But I don't think that any of these skins are that exciting. I don't think they are. <clears throat> Uh, Kira's magic defense skin is going to be about as useful as Ginger's, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, magic defense could absolutely save Kira if it's enough to not get one shot by mage teams. So that is true. That is true. But, you know, it depends on the mage team. Like, most mage teams have a really strong magic penetration artifact. But Mystic and Chaos depend on single big hits to one shot. If she survives the ult where she would have died before, matchup is flipped. 100% true. 100% true. Now, I looked I looked into specifically the uh, the Lilith Zisha lineup, and she still wasn't surviving in that fight. In the lineup that I tried. But again, I'm not a master of Kira. I'm, I'm, I'm not familiar with the best Kira teams... You know, all of that. But there was a suggestion to use Cornelius, right? Using Cornelius Kira is uh, a prominent way to defeat mage lineups with the magic defense skin now because Cornelius applies that huge magic defense buff. Huge magic defense buff. Way bigger than Faceless's buff. Pippi's like getting your child to fight the battle for you. Uh, let's see. I don't think these are going to be game changers in any way. Yeah, I mean, there there is some consideration around the armor skin with Yasmin is scary. Like, if if you push Peppy beyond the rest of your hero's armor, 
then Yasmin's going to be targeting Peppy immediately. And if Peppy is a big part of your damage output, then Yasmin is going to clap her almost instantly. Because she just, like, she, I mean, she's got high armor, but, it, you know, with the maxed armor skin, I should say. But that's just, that's just going to focus Yasmin's rage, right? No heroes expected to survive Azisha ult. Yeah. Yeah. The cure defense skin means that you can't run Helios without a penetration artifact as a counter like you used to be able to against. Yeah, Scott K, you're right. And you know, honestly, I'm I'm spoiled by the use of Merlin, the pet Merlin on Facebook, because Merlin adds, you know, magic penetration. So uh if if I don't run faceless, I can run Helios without a magic penetration artifact. But usually, usually if I'm running if I'm running Helios, then I have I have faceless to go along with. Right. Usually I have Helios. Whoops, that's not Helios. That's Martha. <laughs> Usually I have Helios faceless. And of course, faceless provides that magic penetration artifact. But you are right. You are right. And, and you know, maybe we don't see, whoops, maybe we don't see as much ODH teams anymore. But, you know, Orion Helios is such a classic matchup that, I mean, Kira, Orion doesn't need any help charging, but Kira just charges enemies so fast. Doesn't Yasmin go after weakest armor? Do I have that backwards? I think you're right. I think you I think you're absolutely right. And I said that backwards. Yeah, with the lowest armor. Excuse me. Okay, so Peppy okay. That's my mistake. That's my mistake. Sorry guys. Why did I think that was the highest armor? Yeah. Because with with certain lineups, you want to work hard to keep your Dorian with the lowest armor or your Martha with the lowest armor. Right. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Yasmin attacking lowest armor. This will actually help Peppy not die against Yasmin. Okay. So excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You talking all attack? What about offense? Paul, I, I, don't, I don't know what you mean. playlist this is uh the uh trouble album by harris heller stream beats by harris heller yasmin trap using aurora mm -hmm, mm -hmm. thank you cornelius is a must upgrade now yeah i've been i've been working a little bit on my cornelius too where is my cornelius Here we go. This protective dome ability is pretty nice. At at max, it's like a like a twenty eight k magic defense shield, like twenty seven twenty eight thousand magic defense, which is you know often enough to negate an artifact weapon. Memory loss is pretty good, reducing level of the first skill. You know that could be that could be helpful. And then reduction to magic attack with the protective dome it's nice it's a nice little lineup yeah i remember that because i remember an old video you mentioned keeping rufus armor low against yasmin mm -hmm. yeah if you're if the enemy yasmin attacks rufus she has a hard time killing him if if it's with pure damage yeah his launch is slow cornelius is alt well you don't bring him for his alt you bring him for the for the shield like the ult is good, it's it's great. It's gonna crush a mage for sure, for sure. Yeah, Cornelius and Phobos are already pretty necessary given how common Satori teams and Chaos teams are on mobile. See, I don't really have much trouble with those with my <laughs> with my way of progress team. Oh man, but uh, I believe that the Dark Depths skins came to us on the twenty fourth last year. Okay, so. That's probably when they're going to come this year. I don't know. Maybe the way, you know, the way, the way it's lining up is, you remember the, the last week of June, we have some kind of pirate event. According to load runner, the first of July, I think, or was it the, the 30th of June? I can't remember what it was. There was going to be an exchange rate day. So there's an event leading up to that as well. The pirate event, whatever it is, the pirate pick that changes into large skin stone chests. Uh, at the end of this month, that may be the Dark Depths event. 
Um, of course, the skins could go live tonight. You know, we don't really know. We don't really know for sure. Uh, the magic defense glyph is kind of worthless. October bright sunny, yeah. Because <clears throat> Rufus, there you are. So his his barrier already reduces and absorbs damage and heals him, right? But the Rakashi's oath. If the last attack is a magic damage attack and it magic defense reduces the amount of incoming magic damage. So if you have if you have a bunch of magic defense, oops, because you leveled up his uh, magic defense glyph. I don't think he has a skin, does he? No. You want to you want to get hit with as much magic damage as possible as Rufus. You want all the magic damage, all of it, <laughs> not half of it. Not 25% of it. His healing will be slower. Mm, yeah. The Here we go. Part of the damage absorbed by Rakashi's barrier is converted into the hero's health. So he gets hit with more magic damage. That's more healing for him. And if it does kill him, it's fine. Uh, now Ishmael, Maya, Artemis are looking good at max out in mobile. I guess so. I haven't leveled any of those three heroes up to max. Better to level armor for Rufus than magic defense. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Armor and health. Armor and health. Because you can you can only kill Rufus with uh, with physical attacks. Can't kill him with pure damage. Can't kill him with magic damage. Only physical attacks. I love Rufus on mobile. Love Rufus on mobile. Love it. Ish making a comeback? Oh, I love to see that. I love to see that. Okay, let's uh let's jump back over to Hero Wars Facebook and let's do some Guild Wars. Let's do some Guild Wars. Today we're facing faster horses. I'm in charge of the foundry yet again. Randy and Magic. Randy and Magic. Faster horses. Did we face faster horses last week? We did not. Okay. No problem there. How are we doing? Uh-oh. Charlie's Titan team. Causing some misses. Took two hits. Two hits to take out my team. What? A fire team. Two hits. Man. All right. All right. <laughs> Love to see it. Love to see it. All right. All right. Let's go versus Andy here. Randy, excuse me. So with Randy... We have an obvious Isaac situation here. Just so obvious. So obvious. We have low damage output to the front line. Uh, we probably don't need to use Astaroth here. We could probably go with a Corvus tank situation. Isaac is going to be really good against this lineup because Celeste, Orion, and Aurora are going to be doing the magic damage. The only question is, is should I, should I do something a little different? I could use my own Iris. Probably not necessary to use Iris. What if I did Rufus Corvus? My Rufus is pretty weak, but still could be fun. I see Orion. I use Jorgen. So I'm going to try to use Jorgen. Morgan. Dorian. Eh, not Morgan. I don't want to use Morgan in this lineup. 
Let's see. Dorian would be... I'm not sure about Dorian. Iris plus Isaac is super funny versus that line. If my Iris was a little stronger, but let's uh, let's go ahead and put Iris in here. We're having fun. All right, we're having fun. I think Isaac could almost solo this team. <laughs> Orion does a really good job of running himself right into Orion's... Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Corvus's... Uh, Oh, we're just going to copy Kark Ults, Silence, copy, Silence again. Oh no, my Isaac is dead. My Kark is dead. Well, now we got trouble. We didn't win. Whose idea was it to put Iris in here? <laughs> Okay, well that's okay. That's all right. So we uh, we were able to kill the Celeste, and we almost killed the two tanks. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Should I just use Jorgen instead? I was worried about using Jorgen against uh, Aurora, charging her up too fast. Yeah, can't win them all. Can't win them all. Dorian versus Faceless would have done better for Iris Isaac there. Oh, I gotcha. Guilty for the Iris suggestion. Well, uh, I think uh, I think Raven kind of pumped me up a little bit too. <laughs> uh, Narashima, I don't think pets will ever come to mobile. I think at this point, pets are never coming. This lineup is a lot more straightforward. A lot more straightforward. Oliver, Biscuits, Albus. Yeah, this lineup is a lot more straightforward. Double healer. I think we should probably use Helios here instead of Faceless. Yeah. No healer needed. I'm using Sebastian to remove the uh, the blinds and the Finneris blind. Uh, also to increase some uh, damage output here. Is that Galahad dead? Hmm. Much easier fight. Much easier fight here. We gotta wait for Celeste to charge back up. Oh, well, I guess we don't. I guess we don't. So, I'm not very happy with myself versus Randy here. I think I could have done a better job. I like how you can use Sebastian without Jet. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I should have used Astaroth. <laughs> Am I trying to pigeonhole Corvus into too many teams? Am I trying to use Corvus where it's not necessary? I'm surprised my Isaac died so early. Big hits. Corvus isn't strong enough. Should have used Kai. That might have been a good fight for Rufus. Ah, yeah, I gotta work on my Rufus next. Gotta work on my Rufus after I finish working on my Corvus. Some would say that I should work on Rufus instead and then build up Celeste. 
which is another strategy that I'm thinking about if I wasn't so interested in a, uh, in a very strong Corvus. Speaking of that, let's get into it. Spend some energy there. Isaac slots take damage to ult and no Oliver or healer. He will die. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Well, he doesn't have to take damage. His allies need to take damage. Uh, Andrian, my best guess is the 24th. But nothing for certain. I don't think it's been shared by Load Runner yet. No. No. I don't see it leaked anywhere. He takes some of his allies' damage. Does he? Um... No, I don't think so. The magic power capacitor absorbs a portion of any damage taken by Isaac and his allies. He's not like actually taking the damage. He's gaining. He's gaining charge based on what his allies' damage take. Take is taken. <laughs> so why he died so fast? Uh, I mean, I don't know. You can watch it again if you want. Corvus has no magic defense skin. Yeah, I think uh, I think Corvus is, it has a little ways to go before he's going to be an effective, uh, effective main tank. Maybe in the, uh, with the magic defense skin or a, a health skin or another armor skin, something. Mm. Mm, excuse me. Cranking up the tank roll branch a little bit more. Could go a long way. Could go a long way. Man, this makes me sad. Just looking at this makes me sad. This game, man. This game. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> You'll notice in that PM that my RS is only purple. What? Oh, you sent me a message in game. Okay, here we go. Let's watch a fun fight shared by Raven. Oh, the same matchup. The same matchup. Did you have Raven send you the fight? I'm sorry, did you have Randy send you the fight, Raven? <laughs> Cornelius versus Corvus. I mean, they're two different styles of heroes. You found him in the arena and smushed him. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm anywhere near him. I mean, you just you just beat him, so he's knocked down a little bit. But eh, I'm not gonna worry about it. We can win up a little bit, maybe. Forgot to put a pet on the on the tank. Okay. Bruno. Yep. I'll wait this one out. Kira is not dead. Kira's not what do you mean? Jose Kira's Kira's way of eternity. 
Let's see, are Signal Aurora quicker? Yeah. Michael, I don't know yet. Asks, what's the upcoming event? I'm not sure yet. I am Maverick. Thank you so much for the kind words. Thank you for the kind words. Man. You know, losses are hard to take. But in the grand scheme of things, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Uh, getting into these 900k teams. Jorgen ODH. Okay. See how high we can get. See what we can do here. <laughs> well, while we wait a few more seconds, we can make a we can make a quick announcement about uh, the Hero War Central Clips channel. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I've got a second Hero Wars channel that is just clips from my live stream, but. I have found that the traction on that channel really hasn't taken off. And I don't really think that uh, it's benefiting me as a, as a creator as a whole to have the second channel. When I can literally, I can just post more to this main channel, you know, with, uh, with topics from the live stream and everything. So the Hero Wars Central Clips channel is going to pivot a little bit to me uh, more of a general purpose gaming channel we'll talk about mobile games and console games and pc games we'll talk about uh the best of stuff here and there i've got a couple of guests they're going to be doing some uh uh some uh, uh some videos for me tristan huh so if you're currently a subscriber to the hero wars clips channel and you're not interested in seeing anything like that, then, uh, you know, you can unsubscribe. It won't hurt my feelings too much. Oof, only getting two positions. I don't think I'll ever find this guy. <laughs> it's all right. That's all right. Um, yeah, so look for more variety. There is, uh, I got a, uh, uh, a backbone. A back, is that what it's called? A backbone? Backbone? Backbone controller. Yeah. Yeah, I got one of these for Father's Day. You clip your phone into it, your iPhone. A little controller is on the side. I know you can play Xbox games and PC games and PlayStation games and, you know, any, any app, any game that has a... Uh, um, integration with a controller of some kind thought i might play some of those on there i mentioned this a couple of days ago that there is a couple of games that i'd like to try based on the hero wars ads that we've been seeing and somebody mentioned in uh in a comment that it could be good to do uh, it could be good to do some of the games that are available for the um for the Emerald Tasks, playing those as well on that second channel could be fun, kind of fun to play some of those games. He's not in the top here. It's fine. It's fine. So uh, the next video that I've got that's coming up is going to be, uh, for example, the top, like the most uh, most interesting or the most impactful dogs in video games. 
I thought that would be a fun video to have somebody do. So I had somebody do the, you know, the 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 ten most impactful dogs in mini games. So we'll be uh, we'll be publishing that here in a little bit, and we'll be rebranding the entire channel. Elden Ring, maybe, maybe a little bit of Elden Ring. We'll be rebranding the entire channel away from Hero Wars, since we're not going to be focusing on Hero Wars. But that's not to say that there won't be Hero Wars content on there occasionally. Uh, we're applicable, of course. We're applicable. It's just that overall, the uh, the market availability, the market cap for uh, for the game is diminishing dramatically. So we've got to pivot, right? Evolve or die, as they say. Evolve or die. And there is a link to the Hero Wars Clips channel in the Discord down below. So if you're interested in me doing other games and you're not subscribed yet, go subscribe to that channel. <laughs> we'll be sending people over there occasionally for uh, for live streams. Um, you know, I might, uh, for example, I would love to live stream Apex Legends a little bit uh, a little bit later uh, today, but not really interested in having a set schedule for streaming over on that channel. I guess I can pull it up real quick. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Yeah. So that's it. Here's the channel. I'm going to change the banner, change the name, change the logo. I'll change everything. I don't know to what yet. Not sure. Some other cool, catchy video game name. <laughs> But you can see here, I'm done. I'm done with this channel. <laughs> Dogs of War by Pink Floyd. Okay. How much time does it take to get emeralds through ads? Uh, it varies based on the game. It varies pretty heavily based on the game. I've had some within a day. I've had some take uh, almost a month. Mr. Bassbottom says, I actually found the game I play now from the Emerald Tasks. I'm hoping to find some of those. The problem is, is I have an iPhone. So I got that new controller to play on my iPhone. So I can't actually play any of the new... I can't actually play any of those... Any of the Android games on my iPhone. I'll have to... Uh, I'll have to play them with my uh, with my Bluestacks emulator. You know. I guess I could... I guess I can mirror my Android phone onto my computer and do it that way. I wonder if there's OBS Mobile. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. With all that being said, guys, well, let's go ahead and wrap it up a couple minutes earlier today. Live stream will be back tomorrow. That's 12 p.m. Central Time. It's 5 p.m. UTC. We'll have uh, more Hero Wars and Hero Wars mobile news for you. High level strategy, or at least, you know, kind of, t kind of tall. I'm, I'm kind of tall. Kind of tall strategy. Six foot three strategy is what we'll have in tomorrow's video. Um, go unsubscribe from the Hero Wars Clips channel if you're not interested in that other stuff. Uh, this is your last warning. I'm not going to mention it again. <laughs> and uh, uh, thank you all for uh, hanging out in today's live stream. I look forward to seeing all of you tomorrow. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.